the scale factor for length, area, and volume is not the same. So in this example, I've got two cubes. The scale factor for length, so length scale factor, I just write SF, length scale factor, well, we go from one to two, so it's two. The scale factor for length, you times by two to go to the big shape, divide by two to go back. But for area, let's consider the area of the face. So the area of the front of this shape, it's one times one. So the area is one times one, which is one centimeter squared. But the area for this shape, the front of this shape, is two times two. And that's four centimeters squared. So the area scale factor is actually, it's squared, it's two squared, which is four. So the scale factor for length is times two, and that means the scale factor for area is times two squared. So it's times four. And for volume, well, the volume of this shape would be one times one times one, which would be one centimeter cubed. And the volume for this shape would be two times two times two which is eight centimeters cubed. So the scale factor for volume, volume scale factor is times, is, is two cubed, which is eight. So the scale factor for area is squared and the scale factor for volume is cubed. So when you've got your normal scale factor, if you wanna find the area scale factor, you square it. If you want to find the volume scale factor, you cube it. You cube your normal scale factor. And that's how you are able to work out these questions. So let's have a look at one. We've got two similar cones. Cone A has a radius of 5 and cone B has a radius of 15. So we know the length scale factor, the scale factor for length, length scale factor is 15 over 5, which is 3. So the scale factor for length is three. The volume of cone A is 200. Work out the volume for cone B. So what you don't do is multiply the volume by three because that's not the scale factor for volume. The scale factor for volume, volume scale factor, is three cubed. Because it's volume, it's cubed. And that is 27. So what we've got to do to change this volume We've got to get the 200. We've got to multiply by the volume scale factor, which is 3 cubed, so times 27. So 2 times 27 is 54. And then we add on the two zeros. So we've got 5,400 centimetres cubed. OK, now we've got two similar prisms. We've got cone A has got a cross-sectional area of 5 centimetres squared and cone B has a cross-sectional area of 20 centimetres squared. We've got to work out, we've got to do a volume calculation. But the first thing we've got to do is work out the scale factor. The scale factor for area, area scale factor, is 20 over 5, it's 4. So we know the area scale factor. We can't go from here to the volume scale factor. The first thing we've got to do is work out the length scale factor. Oop. Length scale factor. So if the area scale factor is 4, and that's squared. So to find the length scale factor, we have to square root it. So the length scale factor must have been 2. And then that we can work out the volume scale factor, which is scale factor cubed. So this is scale factor squared. We want scale factor cubed. 2 cubed is 8. So we want to go from the big shape to the little shape. So we need to divide by the volume scale factor, which is 8. So the volume of prison A is 200 divided by 8, which is 100 over 4, which is 50 over 2, which is 25 centimetres cubed. Okay, pause the video and see if you can have a go at this one. 
So this time we've been given volume. We've been given the small shape with a volume of 10 and the big shape with a volume of 640. So we'll work out the volume scale factor first, which would be 640 over 10, which is 64. But we know that that is scale factor cubed. So to find the length scale factor, length scale factor, we have to cube root 64. And that will give me 4. So 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So the cube root of 64 is 4. So that's the length scale factor. And then we need to go from the little, little shape to big shape. So we're going to times by 4. So 2 times 4 is 8 centimetres. So the width of cuboid B is 8 centimetres.